Now, as I was cleaning up yesterday, I noticed a couple different things. We've got these exterior walls that go out, and as the, where the where the two by six comes up, there's two top plates, and the top plate is the two by fours that go at the top of that, going all the way across. You see, there's two 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 by sixes flat right there, two two by sixes flat over there that create the top part of the wall where the two by sixes are coming up. And so when I was taking that plywood out, now do you see why the plywood only came out to a certain bit? Because apparently they decided to make the height of the walls um, the height of where they were going to put the, uh, the flashing. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to um, cut this, I'm going to, I'm going to cut that top black stuff flush with that. I'm going to look underneath there. Is there plywood that's under there or not? And I'm going to clean off that edge a little bit better. And then I've got to come back here where this tied in. I'm going to have, I'm going to pull that back a little bit. You see, that's, that's the existing floor right here of, from here, this, this way. I, I want to, I want to get that all cleaned up and trimmed so I can decide, okay, how far should I cut this back or should I just trim it back a little bit? Because when I, when I do my floor on this other side, I've got to install the two by six and then I have to decide, I also have to get in here and clean this, this edge a little bit and measure in a, a good spot how thick this flooring is. And I'm not quite sure, I don't think that flooring is over there. I think, I can see they built this, they built this section afterwards. So I think when they built the floor or the wall, I think the top of the wall is the same level as where the floor as where the floor is. I don't think they allowed for any uh, OSB flooring to be on top of that two by six plate, those double two by six plates. So I'm going to look at that too, and then that'll help me decide once I once I figure out the thickness of the of the uh, plywood, the OSB plywood. I think it's probably three quarters of an inch. I'm guessing. I'll, I'll have to measure this. And then I can go to the store and see if I can get the same stuff and all that kind of stuff. And then that'll help me determine where I'm going to put that 2x6 to allow for the flooring and all that. But I'm glad um, it's like that. I may, I may not have to take that flashing bit off or that flashing bit off, off there. I just make it flush with there and then tie in my, my, my flooring material on top of the floor, my roofing material stuff over the top of that flange. Well, this one over here, I could see it's been nailed. You see the nails on there? Let's see if I can. They're flat roofing nails. There's one right there. And there's another one over there in the middle of that flashing. See, there's, there's one right there. And that 2x6 underneath there has failed. So I'm going to have to get under there with my flat bar, prop, prop that up to pull those nails. And that piece of flashing is just cut to the stucco, and it's cut to the stucco there. So I think I can remove that piece. But before I do that, I have to determine, uh, maybe mark it or something, so I know when I put that new 2x6 there, what height I'm supposed to be at there. Okay? This piece of flashing here, I'm not sure if it goes behind the stucco or not or if it just stops if it just stops if I had to get underneath there I could maybe pop that up but I don't think I have to on that one and I don't think I have to over there I'll, I'll have to I'll have to make my decision once I get down there trimming that of course right in there where that black roof that black flooring material is I'm gonna have to cut that off and I'll probably have to cut it up to the bottom of the stucco. And see that bottom of the stucco has a, has a little metal trim piece right there. And so that black tar material goes up to there. I'm gonna have to clean that out of there. And see where, remember it failed. I was showing you the other day. It failed all the way over to the edge. See that? I'm gonna have to take all that stuff out. 
And in order to do that properly, I may decide ultimately to take this piece of flashing off. Well, it's one step at a time, little by little. I'll formulate a plan, I'll make some sort of decisions on what to do. Because the other day, if you didn't watch that video, and hopefully you're watching this video series, but if you didn't, I identified, oh, I don't know, seven or eight spots where the water was leaking through this floor. It wasn't leaking through this material. Nothing could get through that. But they didn't install it properly along this edge. They didn't tie it in properly on the corner, on both corners of that stucco, where this tall column is. They also didn't do it around this corner from here to there. And then at that corner, that corner, that outside corner was fine, but I'm gonna have to pull all that off. The last corner of where the flashing is, the last corner where the flashing is over there, the last corner where the flashing is over there. And, and then they had weep holes. See the little weep holes at the inside corner of the flashing along that edge. Every once in a while, you see a little, little pinhole. And what happened is when they, when they put these tiles, when they initially put these tiles in, and they got all done. All the joints look pretty tight, but they took some very fine sand and they pushed it down in all the, uh, all the lines. See that little gap right there? They had some sand in there before and they did that along the whole thing, even on the outside edge. After they put these tiles in, they put sand in there. But what happened? The sand went down there, covered up all those little weep holes all the way along there. When I pulled up the tiles, if you saw that particular part of the video, you'll see that I had to sweep all kinds of sand and dirt and grime out through this edge. And that's why any water, you know, some water might have seeped out through those panels, but not very much. And then it just sat there. And then, it, and then the water would travel to an area where the water would find its way down somewhere. So it would go and travel down, and that's where all that dry rot is. There's more dry rot. Look at, look at all the areas where the dry rot is. It looks like it's in the corners, doesn't it? And now when it went all, all the way back through that two by six, the backside of the OSB, I can't just, well, just cut the OSB out and replace it. It's not that easy because there's stucco on the outside of that. Stucco looks just like this. It matches this on the outside. You're out there, it looks, it looks nice. Stucco on that, stucco on the back side of that wall. Out there, stuck on the other side of this column. It's not gonna be an easy fix. I'm gonna have to, later on, make a determination. How much of this dry rot to take out? Can I take these two by sixes out? How hard are, is it gonna take to take those two by sixes out and to reframe and cut some new uh, OSB plywood in there and put that in, put a new two by six in there and do all that kind of stuff. Okay, we'll get to that later. Today, it's about cleaning up these edges. This edge, this edge, that edge, cutting and, and taking that stuff out, making a determination at that point if we've got to take the flashing out, cut that, cut that black stuff up underneath the, uh, the column through there. On the other side over there, when I cut that out, that's all going to be loose. That's all going to pull up. And I'm going to end up removing this piece here too. And, and this stuff here, see? Look. See how right there at that point, it failed from right here that on the joint because the other stuff went on top of this, remember? Went on top and over. So when the water went, it hit that edge, it went like that. And now you can see the damage it's done to the top. This is the OSB. And then they put chicken wire and a stuck over that. And see this? You think this is you think this is very protective? Look at that. Look how loose it is. It's all corroded. Look, look at all that down in there. You see that? Some, somehow I'm gonna have to clean this up and do the best I can and come up with a thought process of what to do next. Okay, so as I'm going, I'll turn the I'll turn the video camera on periodically through this just like I've been doing before stick with me the more you watch the more you learn we're down in the pit still and I just showed you
kind of around that outside column there. We're facing out the tile roof tile or the the tile deck is behind us. Now we're going over to this column and where the stairs are that go on down. Okay? So I just I just clean this off and I didn't even touch this back here yet. See how the water it went in there and it soaked right in that way, didn't it? So I haven't even kind of touched that. I'm not really inspecting it just yet 100% as to what I need to do, what I don't need to do, how far I need to cut this up, where I need to stop, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just basically, basically cleaning it off. Now I'm going to come here, I'm going to cut that off. See, I already cleaned underneath this trim here. So I've got a nice area to work with, so nothing's in my way. A little piece right there. I, I, it looks like I missed just a little bit. That's just for the, when they put the stucco on there, they kind of hit that edge there and they didn't clean off the bottom. 100% perfect. I, since I'm down here, I might as well do it. So now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna trim this section off and cut it off and kind of take a look at that next.